The band Supertramp broke up in 2015 because Rick Davies, their lead singer, had multiple myeloma. He's doing a lot better now, but fans are always holding on to hope that the band would get back together with Roger Hodgson and they'd have at least a one-off reunion show. If that happened, I asked John Halliwell, if that phone rang, would he rejoin? Okay, if you, you got a call tomorrow, and you know so much more than I do, and you know what I'm going to say. You got a call tomorrow. We're getting the old band back together. Oh, my God, Roger and, and, and Rick are talking. I don't know how it happened, but I know it's happening. And everyone's a game. What if they say, let's do a one-off show, a nice goodbye thing. Would you do it, and would you want that to happen? Yes. Yes. Very happy. I love playing. So if if it could be possible that they that they could all get back together, the, the, the famous five, something, uh, absolutely, I'd be right there. Love it. And uh, you think it's ever going to happen? No. <laughs> That's a really quick, quick answer. I don't think so. Right in there. <laughs> yeah, I... Uh... I think, you know, there's that thing between they go, oh, oh, the fans want it. Because I was talking to Dennis DeYoung and he said, well, you know, the fans want me back in the band. And I agree. The fans want him back in sticks. But it, it goes back to that oldest argument that I've ever had, which is, do you want to go on a road trip with your ex-wife? And sometimes it feels that way. And even if it's a one-off show, I mean, you've probably heard what's happening with Journey. Now they're fighting with each other. They're threatening to sue each other. It's just insane. I don't think it will. There's there's quite a, a a chasm between how Rick and Roger think, the two of them. Plus, there's the fact that in 2015, Rick contracted multiple myeloma, and a tour was cancelled, and uh, he's he, he's on the he's recovered, but he's. I don't think he's strong enough to do a, a stadium tour. He might be strong enough to do uh, a one-off gig or a few gigs, but I think there's there's too much of a chasm between the two, the two songwriters. But it, you never know. But we're not getting any younger. So there you go. Well, I know Rick had good. Obviously, he had good treatment uh, up in in New York. Uh, he lives on Long Island. And uh, so I think he had the best treatment that he could. And um, he's, he said the other day in an interview, I've just read an interview he, he did in the summer, and he said he's doing ke chemotherapy on a regular basis. So I don't know exactly what that involves. I just heard him say that. He, he's never said that to me personally. Yeah, you started laughing. Was that going to be on Crisis? You did that. What album was that going to be on? It was always been around, and we'd done it uh, live. It's on, I think it's on Paris, isn't it? It is on Paris, yeah. And then we thought, think at one stage we just did the beginning of it before a concert. We didn't go into the verse. Uh, I just thought it'd be a nice vehicle for um, for the uh, for that for that group. Yeah, and and the drums the drums come in yeah. into play there. Really nice. Ah, Free the Lady Jasper. Butterfly. Yeah, one of Jasper's uh, tunes. He writes interesting tunes. There's uh, there's there's another one that we couldn't we couldn't do either. Um, uh, just interesting tunes. I don't know where where they come from. But, A real uh, sense of you know, hence the name. Real sense of flight, sense of happiness, joyfulness, yeah. freedom. You know, in that song. Well, uh, he probably. He, he, he put them forward for consideration for the album, and um, I like the tunes. He probably uh, writes a lot more, which I haven't heard, and it, but he, he probably suggested them to me because maybe he thought, thought that they would suit my style or something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, good tune. Oh, Hop Jazz. That one's yours, right? Hop Sax. Hop Sax. I'm reading it off Spotify here, and I can't see. Not wearing my glasses. Yeah. Uh, now hey, you, you let your hair down. Yeah, it's interesting. The, the genesis of, of that tune is that um, I was uh, uh, on the board of trustees of the Manchester Jazz Festival. And about five years ago, we had a new partner that sold beer 
at the festival. And it was, it was uh, Thwaites Breweries in Blackburn, Lancashire. And um, we decided that um, I would write a tune um, about for, for the jazz festival, a, a theme and the, and the beer company. Uh, prior to that, they'd, they'd got me to go to the, to the brewery and, and create my own beer. So I created a beer that was only going to be sold at the festival. And then I wrote a, 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 a the, the tune came after. Um, so we called it, we called the beer Hop Sax as a play on words, sax and hops. And so Hop Sax. And then, then I wrote a tune that would, that would, I called it that. It was just, just came out of my practicing by myself one day. So, so that's the uh, that's where it, it's sort of from. It's 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 sacks of hops, <laughs> but it's also hop sacks. So, what did the beer taste like? Really nice, a little bit, a little bit like um, another beer that uh, quite quite hoppy and and, and sharp and uh, not too strong. There was various constraints that it had to had to be for a festival, but. But with the taste that, that I like, there's a there's a very uh, good beer over here by a different company called Timothy Taylor's Landlord, and that beer is is one of the best beers you can buy. So it was a little little towards that taste, hop sacks. Oh my god, that's so cool! You, you, and you can't you can you still get hop sacks? No, no, it was only brewed yeah. only brewed sort of one time for the festival. Micro and um, sort of micro brewery part of Thwaites beers. Good beer though. Good. Um, yeah, that was nice. So if asked, if asked, would you circle back and do that again? Yeah, I would like to do that again. I, I enjoyed. I've never been. In, well, I had been in a brewery before, but it was it was a totally new thing to me. But it was nice to be able to put my opinion as to how things should taste. Don't Ever Leave Me is the brand new album from John Halliwell, formerly of Supertramp. I still don't say formerly because I can't accept the fact that the band broke up in 2015. But you just, just never know. I'm always holding on to hope. A one-off show? More from John Halliwell in the next two, three days. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself.